Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me again. Sorry about that, taking a sip of my coffee. So, what I'm doing here today is a first impressions, pretty much, of my um, Uncover Your Past Lives Oracle by Mandy Peterson. So, let's look at the book first. Which, I mean, I love how this is bound. It's actually like really, really thin, I would say, but um, very pliable. Very um, good, like a workbook to work with. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of information in here. And this is not going to be an actual um, review. I'm going to save that until I've actually worked with this a little bit. But this is just my first impressions. So about the cards. Let's see. The idea for this deck arose from the desire to find a tool to read past lives for healing purposes. I had a hard time finding such a device, so I decided to create my own. While I created this deck as a healing tool, you can also use it for curiosity's sake or to read what past lives you share with essential people in your life. Feel free to combine these cards with other oracle or tarot cards to receive more in-depth insight. Like most of my decks, a reader can use both the fronts and backs of the cards to give a reading. You can find the instructions for how to use the cards back in the chapter titled Using the Card Backs. Okay. Are the card backs related to the card fronts? While the subcategories on the card fronts are related to the themes on that card front, it is not the same for the same backs or for the, for the card backs. The category on the card backs aren't associated with one another. Not are they related to the subjects, oh, nor are they related to the subject of the card front. Okay. And this is not a feel-good deck, she says. Working with history. Archetypes versus past lives. Oh, okay. This deck started as a past life oracle. However, I wanted to include archetypes if what came up in a reading was meant to be read symbolically, providing archetypes can also help the reader to see associations between past life phenomena and present life patterns and experiences. Okay. Excellent. So, they talk about how to use the spreads. Four card spread. Different card spread. Okay. Fleshing out and reading using other cards okay um relationship spread very cool what if a divider appears at the top of a card we'll get to that later because we have not even gone through the actual cards so major themes and archetypes it just really goes into okay a lot of detail for each of the cards. That goes all the way through, I believe, the last card. Let's see. Wow. I can tell you already this is going to be excellent. Okay, and pages in here for writing out themes and all that. And if you don't want to write in a book, something like this is really cool just to put it on a scanner or take a picture with your phone and then cancel out the background and then you have one that you can keep on printing out or, you know, or even make something like a three ring binder or just a regular notebook. I usually just use like a spiral notebook because I don't like writing in my books. Using the card back. So they talk about that. Time frames. We've got pre Earth. We've got early Stone Age, Neolithic Revolution, Age of Atlantis. Ooh, early Bronze, Middle Bronze, Late Bronze, Classical Antiquity, 
early middle ages, Viking age. This is friggin' excellent. High middle ages, crusade, uh, crusades and inquisition, pre-Columbian America, late middle ages, age of discovery. Wow, this goes back far. Age of enlightenment, American civil war, early modern age, late modern age. Oh my goodness. Okay, I am really excited about this deck. There is so much information in here. Oh, wow. Even the way that you died. Accident, animal attack, broken heart, childbirth, dementia, drowning, fire, hip, uh, hypothermia, miscarriage, or died at birth, murder. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Locations. Okay. Africa. Arctic or Antarctica, Asia, Baltic, or Central uh, Europe, Central or South America. Wow. I mean, you guys can see here. That is excellent. Traumas that you might have experienced are all in here. Wow. Wow. Faith. Love. What was that? Identity. Okay, clearly you're going to want to read the book, right? Definitely. All right, so let's get started on these cards. Here's the box it comes in, which if you can see my hand, it's, it's not a bad size at all. Emerald House Publishing, mysticmandy.com forward slash EH Publishing. Okay, oh, seems like I got the hiccups. It's a um, magnetic clasp box. This is good and sturdy, too. All right. Oh, how to use the card, card fronts and backs. While the subcategories on the card fronts are related to the theme on that card front, it is not the same for the card backs. The categories on the card backs aren't associated with one another, nor are they related to the subject of the card front. See the manual for more information on how to use the... Okay. All right. So we're just going to put that away. Not even sure how to... Yeah, these are definitely interesting. All right, so what I'm going to do is try to make this a little bit closer. Just so we can get a good view of these. All right. Isn't that interesting? So depending, I'm guessing, and I have not read it yet, obviously. That's the first I even went through the, oops, the first that I even went through the book a little bit. So I'm guessing the way that it's up, whatever's facing up is what you're dealing with, but I could be wrong. Oh, I see. Okay. Wow. Oh, look at that. Like lost civilization. Becoming more... Ne wow. Wow. I can tell this is going to be something that you can dig really deep with. And... I mean, the art is stunning. The colors are excellent. Look at that. Let me turn this around, guys. Okay, it even talks about there's three that are blank. 
So you can probably fill those in yourself if you like, which is good to know. But I am going to turn these this way. That way this does not go on forever. <laughs> Let me put it over here. All right. Wow, even like meteor shower or asteroids. Look at that. Wow. I will put a link down below to where I purchased this. I had been talking with Amber and she showed it to me briefly, but I had seen the um, Kickstarter at the time and I just couldn't do it at the time, money-wise. So I was hoping that there was going to be a... Am I even looking at that right? Oh, there we go. I was hoping that there was going to be extras so that I could still purchase one. Interesting. Isn't that amazing? Oh. They're a little bit disorienting. <laughs> It's kind of cool that they're round, though. I mean, look at, I mean, you're essentially getting so many cards out of one deck, which is excellent. Look at that. That's so beautiful because it depends on the direction. That's really cool. I even love the font on this, and I know that there's a couple of different fonts that you can choose. I chose this one because it was a little bit easier for my eyes. But the other one was really pretty as well. Wow. Very cool. Uh-uh-uh. Gosh, I love that. Now you can eat cake. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I keep moving over a little bit. I am very excited to, to do some readings with us. Look at how deep you could go with this and how much information is revealed. This is smaller than the archetype stack, too, round-wise. This is a, a good size, I think. I'm sorry, I keep moving it over. It's because my phone, or my camera is on my phone. It's kind of awkward. I think I have it in the position that I don't normally <laughs> do. Wow. Well.
знаю. Isn't that excellent? I can see this is going to be kind of juicy. <laughs> Might be able to... Well... Really uncover some... Very... Interesting information in our lives, past lives. I can think of a few people I'm going to be talking to that I want to uh, do some more digging into their past lives with this, these cards. Pretty much anybody that will let me, really. After I do a few for myself, of course. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that's so sweet. Wow. Oh my goodness. This deck is friggin' awesome. So, do you have this deck? Have you worked with it? Have you done any readings yet? Or have you had your past life reading done with something like this? If so, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know how it has worked for you. Isn't that excellent? I will probably be doing a review of this. But, I mean, it could be six months from now, depending on... After I've actually worked with it and see how it, it works for me. But, look at the side. Isn't that beautiful? Very easy to shuffle. I could see doing some cool pick-a-card readings with this. Oh my goodness gracious, yes. All right, well, I hope you have enjoyed this. Um, and I wonder if all these, I think all the backs are the same. You can see all the different identity. Are they all the same? Oh, no, they're not. interesting oh yeah deep diving is what i'm going to be doing i hope you have enjoyed this please leave me a comment down below if you are using this as well or um if this is something that's on your wish list also uh i am sending you love and light thank you so much mm -hmm.